Did you get ghosted recently? Trying to find answers on why? Well, you're in luck. We have psych, we don't. No, we don't have answers because for the most part, I'm not an asshole. Hi guys, welcome to Bad Decisions with Jazz. As always, thank you so much for listening and keeping up with my TN life. Always excited to have you guys here. Doing this is pretty fun. Honestly, I thought like in the beginning it was gonna be boring. Oh, listen to this, my AC is broken again. The pipes keep freezing and so I gotta turn it off, wait for Arizona heat to melt it and then I can turn it on again but then it freezes again and then melts again and like it's a whole process so right now it's sort of on sort of working not really today's topic was based on the fact that i put posts on my instagram story it was basically me asking the question like what do you guys want to hear me talk about in my podcast not that i was running out of ideas i just wanted to hear some input on my listeners because they listen to this and i got three responses so they're all listed up here and honestly uh, the winner was my baby it was my baby I couldn't believe he had come up with such a really good topic. I, I know that sounds shitty, and I hope he doesn't kill me for saying that. I was surprised because, yeah, like he has things to talk about, he's things that he wants to listen to me talk about, but at the same time, this is kind of tailored to women, so it's much different when you get a guy telling me what I should talk about. I, I was just really proud of him for coming up with such an amazing topic. I was like, okay, daddy, all right, Matt, all right. What are we talking about today? We're talking about ghosting. So we're both really passionate about this topic because one of our friends um, is kind of ghosting us. I didn't know that friends could ghost us until we met this friend who ghosts us. So basically, it's every time he gets into a relationship, you tend to kind of fall off the constant hangouts with your friends and try to tailor your time towards your significant other. And I understand that, I respect that, but us as a couple, we tend to at least do it once a month where we have all our friends come out and like we all hang out. We all have a pity party because it's always sad boy or sad girl hours, mostly boy hours because dudes get played when they're the ones doing the playing. It karma, whatever. Anyways, so this friend, he was in a relationship recently and then recently got out of one. So it was a pretty quick transition into his new relationship that he's in now. We tried to hit him up and we were figuring out like what was going on. He wasn't responding to any of us. So we were kind of upset because it's like, well, we're sitting here trying. You complain about us not calling you or trying to hang out with you. And now all of a sudden you get into a relationship and it's like, we don't even exist. I sent him a text and I was like, I don't understand. Like, well, what did we do wrong? So that's what's shitty about ghosting people. Now I looked on the internet and I did see some other ways to ghost people. So we're gonna touch topics on those. Maybe you guys have heard of them, maybe you haven't. I was definitely very intrigued to see that there's more than like one way to get ghosted. I know that you can do the ghosting and I know that you can get ghosted. And usually ghosted just means that they left you on red and left your life without any kind of goodbye or saying that they wanted nothing to do with you anymore. So the first way that I saw they get ghosted obviously is the ghosting. You just get left on red or maybe you're in a relationship and you kind of just like walk out, which I am guilty of doing that actually. <laughs> but basically it's just like you no longer talk to them, you no longer see them, you just don't hit them up, you avoid them at all costs, like you just don't want anything to do with them. I, I have seen breakups like that, and again, I have, I have done that. That's one way to ghost. Another way that I saw ghosting was when basically you're just a side hoe and they're never going to make it official. So when you're a side hoe, for the obvious reasons, you're literally a side hoe, they have another girl or boy or man or whatever you want to call them, your significant other, no, not your significant other at that point, just somebody that you're talking to, is talking to somebody else and they're of the importance, we should say. I don't know how else to put it, but basically you're just that side piece. You guys know what a side hoe is. I feel like that's kind of common knowledge. We don't need to go too in depth into it. I just don't want to make it official because you're just a side hoe. And that's kind of ghosting because the minute that something better comes along than what they already got, they're just going to be like, deuces. They're not even going to say goodbye or anything. They're just going to ghost you. They'll probably block your number. So the next one that I saw, and this was interesting, so please let me know if you have heard of this before, but zombieing. I understand what it is, so I'm going to explain that real quick. So basically, it's when somebody comes into your life randomly, not planned to come into your life, and then randomly, the same way that they come, they go. They leave. All of a sudden, they're just going to fall off the face of the earth and be like nothing ever happened. And you know, maybe they'll come back. 
like maybe a month later, maybe two months later, maybe five months later, maybe even a year later, maybe two years later, you get the point. They just come back into your life all of a sudden and it's like, well you left. Listen, if you're gonna leave somebody's life, nobody has time to deal with somebody leaving and coming back. That roller coaster that it puts us on emotionally, physically, it's not good for us. We just can't handle that kind of roller coaster. And on top of that, nobody needs to deal with that kind of inconsistency. That kind of inconsistency can lead to lack of trust, lack of believing in the person. You can't be reliable at that point because it's like, well, you just up and left without cause. And yeah, maybe they'll tell you the reason, but how do you know that reason won't occur again in the future for them to leave you again in the future? So I don't really trust people who do the zombieing. If somebody wants to be in your life, they will find any and every way to make sure that's possible. Boyfriend and I kind of met at work in a time where neither of us should have been together. So we had mutually agreed like, okay, maybe this is just not in our best interest. And I liked him. I liked him a lot. And I, I knew at that point how much I liked him. We had been talking for months at that point and we were just like, yeah, maybe this is not smart. Cause you, you know, when you talk to somebody for a long time, it just, your feelings kind of just get deeper and deeper. And so we were just like, okay, we should probably just separate for a second. So I don't consider that zombie because it was a mutual agreement. When we finally agreed like, okay, well, I think it's the right time and it just it just kind of happened it it was a pretty amazing thing and that's just for me to cover my boyfriend a little bit i'm not trying to get too off topic because i think it kind of is on me we agreed to leave each other's lives and then all of a sudden we randomly come back but somebody did say talk about your boyfriend so and the last one that i had come across when i was reading on the internet was benching basically you're it's kind of like being a side hoe, but not being a side hoe. Basically, you're just along for the ride. The coach is like, go ahead and chill there for a second. I'm gonna see what we can do with you, if we can do anything with you. And so basically, they take you off the bench when they want to use some of your qualities, but not necessarily all the time. So they don't always want to use your qualities, don't always want to have you in their field or in their court. That's basically what benching is. It's literally the term, benching. So they don't always use you because you're not the best, but you're also not the worst. You just get benched, but eventually you'll get into the game. But then again, eventually you'll get benched again. Those kinds of people are not worth your time. Another way to get ghosted, like I was mentioning before, in a relationship, listen to me right now. I know what it's like. When you're in a relationship with somebody, you make them your whole world. And I literally was having this conversation with a boyfriend the other day about how we've literally, it's just for me personally, I've only been hanging out with you and I need a minute to like go hang out with my girlfriends or something. I was supposed to do a girls night recently, but I went to San Diego, so maybe next weekend. I just want you to know, and it's really important for your significant other to know, especially that when you're in a relationship, if you have the opposite gender, because we got gay pride on this channel, I just want you guys to know that. Whoever your significant other is, you can't tell them that they can't talk to the opposite sex. Like, I am so tired of hearing girlfriends say that, oh, my boyfriend doesn't want me to talk to other boys. This is a new century, it's a new dawn, controlling possessiveness, jealousy, that all needs to be minimal because there are billions of people in this world and half are one gender and half are the other. So you kind of just have to respect the fact that people are going to talk to the opposite gender. I will never tell my boyfriend he cannot talk to females because that's just, it's unrealistic. Plus when you work in a place where there's both genders, naturally you're gonna have to talk to females eventually. And for me, he can't say the same thing to me because I'm in a male dominated work field. I literally have to talk to men. Honestly, I probably work with like three other females at most, maybe. It is much different when you're receiving the being ghosted or when you're doing the ghosting. Like when I do ghosting, I'm like hyping myself up. I'm just like, oh yeah, I am hot shit and I want people to know that. So I want him to know I left him on red and that was like my mentality for such a long time. I was such a control freak. I wanted power like in every way possible that I could think of. So when it came to the opportunity to go somebody, especially if I wasn't feeling him or anything like that, I had no problem. I definitely mentioned in one of my podcasts about how I was talking to somebody who was ridiculously boring for me. And maybe that was our opposite. Maybe that's why he liked me. 
because I do believe that you need to find your opposite. He was just too boring for me and I'm just so full of life. Don't get me wrong, I have my boring days. I have days that I just want to sit on the couch, scroll through TikTok and not do a damn thing, not say a damn thing. This guy was boring to the point where I was like, that's all we would do and the only conversations that we would have were based on whatever we were watching, which I can't do that. Somebody's got to match my energy. I'm just saying, boyfriend does match my energy and like I'll be sitting there like while I'm out in the car and it'll just be like, okay, okay. He'll just look at me like I'm the hottest piece of ass he's ever seen. <laughs> Receiving it is much, much different. When you get ghosted, it is the worst feeling in the world because it's like, well, what did I do wrong? What did I say wrong? How could I have acted different? And like, you just go into like this whole, if you're an overthinker like me, you go through like this whole spiral about how you're just not good enough and this and that, and it just doesn't stop until like, you meet someone new. But if you really like this person and then all of a sudden they just kind of fall off your face of the earth, obviously you're gonna be a little butt hurt by it. Anybody is. I've definitely been ghosted before and I'm just like, well, great, I guess I got ghosted. I didn't know how to handle it. And yes, I have been ghosted before. I'm just left on red. And usually it's like from guys that I'm meeting on Tinder or something and thank God that shit's over. I've been ghosted by females too. So girls, you are crazy. Girls are crazy. And I live by that. I'm a girl. I can say that girls are crazy because I'm crazy too. Getting ghosted, it's like, what the fuck? Like, first there's denial about how, okay, maybe they're just busy. Maybe they're just walking a dog. Or maybe they're just at work and overworking themselves. Or maybe they just sitting down watching a show that they're so invested in. Or they, you just go through all these maybes. And like, one morning you wake up and it's like, no text. And it's like, okay, no text, that's fine. Again, maybe they're busy. Maybe they woke up early this morning to go to the gym. So you just start making excuses for them. You're just like, okay, well, they're just busy. Period, point blank. But then you wake up the next morning and it's like, okay, well, they haven't responded to me still. Like, what did I do? Am I just not important to them? And like, you just kind of go through this whole spiral. At the end of the day, if you get ghosted, just put your feelings into a little box and throw that shit in the ocean. Forget about it. Forget about them. Being ghosted is, it's the worst thing in the world. So I think that's all that I really got on ghosting and to cover most of boyfriend's opinions as well. Talking about what he wanted me to talk about. I did want him in this video, but we both don't have the time to do that at the moment. So I had to make sure I got this to you guys on time and I couldn't like adjust my schedule so that way he can adjust his. And hopefully you guys get to meet him soon. Hopefully you want to meet him. Then I am willing to do that. I would love to do a little Q&A together and just like one way for him to get into like my world a little bit just to understand how hectic it really is. So I have some pretty amazing things planned for my channel. I did do a, if you're anything like me, I need to plan out everything that I'm packing. So I decided to do a little pack with me kind of video because I am such an organized freak and if you guys are organized freaks too, then you might love it. But basically I have to make lists and then I have to figure it out and I wasn't just packing for myself I was also packing for boyfriend because I love him and I will do that for him So you guys should definitely go check out that video if you're interested in seeing it Maybe experience it with me because I know what it's like especially with COVID going on Vacations were cancelled, trips were cancelled It sucks, we were supposed to go to Cancun and we never got that opportunity so we are trying to like Make it up with like little mini vacations Thank you guys so much for listening Be safe, be happy, and be loved XOXO, jazz.